so I sit down. I can tell she's annoyed, right? Um, she's not being particularly nice to me. And I take my arm out, and she goes, you have a scar here. And I said, that's from shooting heroin. And she didn't talk to me yeah. for the rest of the time. And I tried to, it was so awkward because I was like trying to be funny. I tried to say I'm, I was just joking and she wouldn't even acknowledge that I had said anything at all. Like <laughs> I said, I said, thanks. Like have a nice day. And she did. She egged me for the rest of the time. So some people don't really like acknowledge or kind of like uh, get your humor. You have to be there. But I said it in a you way a different type of, I feel like your therapist didn't get your humor when I was telling you about your therapist. I'm not out, I, it's not out in the world that I go to therapy. <laughs> oh, it is now. Is. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody needs I was a talking therapist. to my therapist and i was making jokes and he wasn't laughing i was like oh, yeah i said I'm, i said i'm gonna i'm like i'm gonna kill myself and he goes you can't say that so, come on. he told me not to make drug jokes he told me i need to do triangle breathing and i'm like i said uh it's like a uh, breathing xanax and he said let's try not to make drug references i said we're not bro are you fucking i got 45 minutes for you okay? calm down that's dude i'm paying going. you right i think you develop a sense of humor <clears throat> having Sorry. gone there and come back yeah but i didn't even know i didn't say it in a way that it was even true like i i just you know what i mean well, i think that to the she, therapist or to the to the, to the woman the, like, like i didn't even i didn't say it like i was heroin. like like i wanted her to like pat me on the back like you right. know like i just said it because it was like it's true. i thought it was funny yeah, it's true but i didn't say it like it was true i said it like it was a joke. i think it was implied i think she knew it was true before you told her yeah, People she definitely have random scars on their arm. Yeah, over, over their massive, yeah, you know, well, whatever. So okay, so so what happened to the other guy? What other guy? The uh, guy, the the we were what was it in like episode one or two or the episode, oh. pilot episode that never got aired. The so, guy that just yeah, a year ago guy, took you out. Yeah, so a year ago we we kind of tried a partnership with a um with a clinic, and it didn't work out. Uh, I, I really wanted to stop doing daily injections and I, I tricked myself into believing that the cream test cream would be the same. It wasn't. Uh, but one of the worst things, first of all, it was expensive. I don't, I don't have any real problem with them so much. Uh, the price is one thing for the service. The other thing was, is that they prescribed me thyroid medication, but the way it was said to me in zoom was that it was implied that it was T3. Right. Everybody who says, oh, we're going to we're going to prescribe thyroid medication. I, you assume it's going to be armor thyroid T3 or T4. And I don't know exactly what happened, but I looked at the label one day and it just said the word thyroid on it. And it was like red pills. And I know thyroid I medication, medication capsules. Yeah. And then I was like, what is and then nothing on the label indicated what was in T3 it. T3 or whatever. T3 yeah. uh, armor T4 levoxathin or whatever it's called. And I ended up doing a little research, and it was something called porcine, which yep. is a supplement, essentially. So it's pig thyroid, desiccated pig thyroid that you can – it's in some of the supplements that I carry. You could buy you could buy it online. Right. And I was paying, like, an outrageous amount of money for something that I could probably get from my store. And I felt kind of like – Fleeced. I, got, I felt like I got taken advantage of a little they bit. us. I mean, it was a little my fault for not, like, really looking into it maybe. Yeah, I mean, thanks. I – and four hundred dollars for twenty milliliters of uh, of uh, nandrolone. Come, come on, bro. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, I'm on. so happy I didn't have the money to get involved. Oh, <laughs> you know, Scott got me good on that one. Man. So okay, so let's get to the blood work. Let's get to the good stuff. So I, the, my main situation is is that I I have been trying since rugby is since since rugby for the last year to get back into some of what I would consider decent shape. I think I'm in terrible shape right now. I wouldn't say terrible. Ease up. Put the back well, down. No, I mean, I'm saying how I would describe it. Uh, like, if somebody, if you were to say, yeah, what kind of shape are you in? I'd, you know, if we hadn't seen each other in a while, I'd be like, I'm in terrible shape. I'm not in good shape. The cameras go on, and all of a sudden, Justin has a heart. Yeah, was, right. As the cameras were on, you'd be like, you literally you just look said like you, shit. You're a fat piece of shit. But yeah. Like, you walk into a strange group, people are like, man, you're big as fuck. Yeah, but I'm not, but you, but you know but what I mean. Know what you, you know what I mean. Yeah. Health wise. Yes. And I haven't felt 100%. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to. Get my blood work done. I'm going to go back to a doctor I've worked with in the past mm -hmm. who's more health orientated than prescription orientated. Yeah, he is. And try to see what's going on. And I think I, you made a good point, too, that everybody should get blood work done. Anybody who's taken, I mean, it, as a matter of health, I mean, at least once a year. But yeah. if you're taking gear twice a year minimum. Yeah. 
Jesus. So I, I think I'll just, I mean, uh, overall, I'll just go through it real quick. Um, all my markers that were pretty much green, which was crazy to me. I was out of range on a couple things with the main stuff, like heart, arteries, like, you know, he said my blood vessels were good. Um, my vitamin B12 was, was 2000. I was out of the reference range. It couldn't read above 2000. Solid. So it could, could have been 10,000 for right. all you know. I forgot that I had, I was taken from Amino Asylum, Shredder. Super Shredder, which is a great product. Which is awesome stuff. And it, but it has B12 in it, so yeah. that, that explained that. I, I told him that I, I, I wasn't sure what it was, but I figured it out later on. He probably told you to throw that shit out. Now, here's, now, this was the first indicator that I was running into some issues. My estradiol, my estrogen, the reference range is between 8 and 40. I was at a 67. So uh, he really wants you around the 35. That's my estrogen. estrogen. Okay. He's a bitch <laughs> uh, so right there having high estrogen is going to make it a little difficult to lose weight and to get through a movie without crying so a lot of bloating explains a lot of the bloating and um, <laughs> mood swings <laughs> for sure um so we're gonna do um a little bit of a rimadex i don't believe it or not i don't normally take ais when i'm on uh testosterone because i typically don't have this problem i might use one milligram of ar arimidex when my system is Functioning. when you're getting good Back pumps down. yeah and you're, you're in good shape you kind of know your body you might I, I would never take more than a milligram a week for, on that kind of stuff because i never had an estrogen issue before but i guess i've developed one so that's right. fun my free uh t3 mm -hmm. now Going back to the thing I said before, I was struggling to lose some weight. So what do we do? We don't go to the doctor. We order stuff online. I ordered some T3 a month ago or two months ago from Amino Asylum. Assuming, honestly, I always assume everything's just fake. But Amino Asylum usually has a pretty good reputation. And I was taking 25 micrograms of T3 every morning. And my T3 was a 7.2. That's almost double what your T3 should be. So if anybody's wondering... I don't have a discount code. I don't make any money on it. But the Amino Asylum T3 is good to go. <laughs> good to go. All clear. Um, now, it's strange that my T3 would be so high and I'd be so fat. But that the next thing is the T4. Uh, my T4 is extremely low. It's a 0.7. Uh, the reference range is uh, a 0.8. Eight nine support point nine to about a one point seven. Now so, explain to everybody why your T four is so low. Well, my body that T four converts into T three, so uh, there is a disconnect in my uh, thyroid hormone. I used to use T three when I used to bodybuild. I used to use it to cut. I was prescribed Armor uh, Thyroid, which is a small combination, a really low dose. I think it's 12.5 micrograms, and that's a combination of T four and T three. Your body needs T four to convert into T3. Mm -hmm. So he said, it doesn't really matter. My doctor's like, it doesn't matter that you're T3, so how you don't have T4. So essentially it's like your body doesn't know even know what to do with it. It's right. like, it, 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 by skipping that conversion process, you know, you're not helping yourself much at all. He always prescribed T4 and T3 together as armor thyroid. And I use that in small amounts. Unfortunately, because of my uh, 10 years of um self-medicating to try to look a certain way i'm probably gonna have to be on t3 t4 for life well that was my question is do you think this t3 t4 issue is a result of of using t3 of in the past of t3 in the past it it could very well be however he doesn't want to approach it that way so i'm using t his armor thyroid mm -hmm. at 12.5 micrograms and over the course of the next 60 days, he's really going to try to taper me down, down yeah. and to see what's going on. Yeah. Because he thinks that the this the T3 and T4 issue is probably a result of some other things going on. Prolactin's good. He said, congratulations, you don't have a prolactin sec secreting tumor in your brain. So uh, we high-fived about that. <laughs> Free testosterone. This was outrageous. It was a 38.5, and the reference range is 4 to 17. Uh-huh. Uh, which is normally, a, I would say, a good, a good thing. You'd be super Yeah, you want that. that. You really want free testosterone is more important, in my opinion, than total testosterone. Uh, but we're going to talk about that in a minute because my, my total testosterone was about 1,300, and the reference range for that is 200 to 800. So I, I'll tell you guys what I was taking. I was taking 60 milligrams of testosterone cypionate, uh, six days a week sub-Q. I think that works out to be 300 and something. It's not, I wasn't taking it's a lot. TRT. 
little, it's a little, a little higher, higher double TRT. TRT. We call it, it's called sports TRT now. That's the new <laughs> oh, yeah? athletic TRT. Athletic. Um, was, but why, why six sub-Q? days a week? Why sub-Q? I'll tell you why. Because I... You want to keep your levels uh, of no high I'm, I, dips? Well, there's a couple... Emba- it's embarrassing, really. Uh, <laughs> I, from injecting so much over the years, I've developed scar tissue Everywhere. in my shoulders and my, yeah. my glutes. And it's very difficult to do my lats by myself. I will not inject my legs under any condition. And uh, every time I I was getting bad post-injection pain, if I went in my shoulders, and I I don't want uh, lumps and stuff. I I just don't. And when I was on the cream, I I started to resolve a lot of the scar tissue. Mm -hmm. So uh, Vigorous Steve, a guy on YouTube who I really like, uh, he he talks about sub-Q injections. I never really gave it a chance. And I had been doing that recently and just doing uh literally a very very small amount of mm. testosterone Where? just on right on her skin right in the belly you fat right legs the belly fat. you're you're, you're fine gonna... with the bruises it, there, it's it three days with that shit. but you yeah, were doing like were you doing a half cc or better because i'm doing less than a half a cc oh, yeah, i think i was doing like a, yeah i think i was doing a half a cc it's 60 milligrams so it's just a couple ticks well, on it's not a lot it's not a lot it's no. literally like but i mean he had me poking it and then moving it around like a clock I dial. No, and no. I'm like, this is too much. No, he want, yeah, listen, I, I put it, I, one thing I can handle is injections. It's not that big a deal. I just wanted to give my muscles a break, but I feel like my body was absorbing the testosterone in an appropriate way. I feel like 1300 may sounds a little bit high, but I think that's pretty good considering the dose I was taking. Yeah. And I, that's all the anabolics I was on. Yeah. Okay, a little bit, a tiny, hormone? tiny little bit of Masteron. Okay. Did just you, what, what did you just say? Yeah, were you taking, were, weren't you taking the fake growth hormone? I was taking some fake growth hormone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, get I, we don't even surprised. know. I don't know if it's fake. I, I, it's hard to tell. There's it's no hard. indications in that paperwork that you were on growth hormone. No. no. But he didn't test, but, but yeah, I didn't test my IGF. Test I didn't test my IGF. Okay. So I can't say that's real or fake. I don't know. I don't know either. This sucks. Uh, growth hormone is hard to tell, man. Uh, it's like... Uh, where, where you really where growth hormone really shines is when you're in shape and your body is functioning at a, at a high level and then you add something like that in and it's like there's no question in your mind that it's, that it's this working. is working yeah when you're out of shape it's like t- it's like taking anavar when you're fucking yeah. you know 20 percent body fat yeah but yeah maybe you get good pumps but are you doing anything for your physique really yeah t3 total was <laughs> 317 reference range is 80 to 200 again T3 is out of whack. T4 is out of whack. Your thyroid is fucked for life, dog. My blood. My blood was a little thick red blood cell. Hemocrat. Uh, so we, we grabbed the pint out of me, and that fixed that problem. My sex hormone binding globulin. It's a very interesting uh, hormone. It's, uh, it basically binds to free test. I'm going to do bro science, so it's a fucking nerd is going to learn, like, look us up and say it's not. that's not exactly how it goes. <laughs> um sex hormone binding globulin it, it's for me you always you want to keep this number pretty low in the reference range you don't want it outside of the reference range and you certainly don't want it too high so i i think that's probably a result of the terkesterone i'm running in a, a, a pretty high amount of terkesterone which is great by the way uh, i that's something that you i actually sell. i do sell that here at the store uh maybe i'll link it in the description so your sbg needs to be low and your free test needs to be high. high. Which I have these things. Absolutely. Now, so the question is becoming, so the question will be in with the doctor going, is like, if, if your testosterone is pretty high, your free test is pretty high, and your sex hormone binding globulin is pretty low, even though your estrogen is a little high, that's indicative of not using an AI, all that makes sense, that I should be making some better gains, yeah. so to speak. Um, and the answer that we've come up with, and what he's come up with, is that I've been on testosterone for far too long, right. Uh, that my receptors have downregulated, mm-hmm. and now the idea is to uh, resensitize me. So for the next 60 days, we are coming off of testosterone, maybe a little longer. 60 days with in an effort to mm-hmm. upregulate the receptors, clear out a little bit, give my body a chance to hit a homeostasis again, retest. A cleanse. Uh, it, uh, I'm hoping we don't have to retest. He said we may or may not have to retest, and then add back in the testosterone and get my weight uh into a, a weight that i want to be what's the weight that he wants you to be at i what i want to be i would i, I, I pre- preferably in my life as i live it now i would want to be around two, 240 or under okay and you're at 280 280 yeah 
two eighty. But I've lost fourteen pounds in in six days, which we can get into that too. Yeah. But that's a lot of water weight too, because I, I started taking the Arimidex. Let me just finish up here. Oh, my vitamin D was very low, and he said to me, "Scott, you're going to tear a muscle." And I said, "I already did. I tore two. I tore two. I tore, tore my complete bicep and my pec." And he said, well, "That's because you don't know vitamin D." I said, "It was probably from you the guy's head who fucking." Name. But my vitamin D was really low, so I started supplementing some vitamin D. How much? How many units? Uh, here's, he says it right here. He wants me to take 5,000 IUs of D3 twice a twice day. A, twice a day? Twice a day. For in the beginning, just get those numbers back on. You need to get out in the sun. Don't We're hitting the fish oil hard. Yeah. We're hitting the omegas hard. He wants me leafy greens. Uh, we're cutting out the fast carbohydrates. He prescribed me. We, we're doing a little bit of Clomid, okay, to okay. come off of the testosterone. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, right now, HCG, apparently this is coming from him, HCG is impossible to get, so I have to source the HCG um, alternatively, we'll say. Um, we're going to be running 500... I'm going to go asylum. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, oh, do they have it? Black market. Uh, underground nutrition. Oh, we don't sell that. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish we did. Um, HCG, Clomid, 500 IUs of HCG a day. Uh, 50 milligrams of Clomid split, so 25 and 25 in the morning, and I, I hate Clomid. I probably won't use it, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Super-duper uh, niacin pills, you know, the flushy pills he wants just to help with the, some blood, you know, get the blood flowing a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, he wants to. He wants me to increase my healthy cholesterol a little bit, improve my blood flow, uh, work on getting some actual pumps in the gym. Uh, a small amount of Armour Thyroid, so it's 20, uh, 12.5 micrograms of Armour Thyroid dosed dose down over the next 60 days. And then he he asked me if I wanted to, he's like, you want to lose some weight quick? And I said, yeah, let's do it. And he said, all right, lift your shirt up. And then he injected me with something when I wasn't looking. That just seems so. He's like, Psh. <laughs> That's not Was the vaccine? Uh, I didn't care. It was not too much. It's... Um, Ter, uh, terzepatide is the is the drug name. It's a peptide, and it was originally developed for type two diabetes. Oh, I didn't mention that blood sugar, fasting blood sugar has been a little bit high. Uh, and this, you know, people could use this how they want. If you're going to use stuff like growth hormone in your life, or in even MK six seven seven, if you're not using glucose disposal agents and or and or insulin. And you're bulking and you're abusing these things, like taking more than you should, not prescribed, is that one of the things that could happen to you, even if it's you're not genetically predisposed, predisposed or you're not overweight or fat or eat bad, is that you can really fuck up your uh, blood sugar. Mm-hmm. You can fuck up your insulin sensitivity. And I, I've always struggled over the last five years with some of my blood sugar. It's why I respond really well to keto and uh, very low carbohydrates. Um, I can usually get my blood sugar in the in the 80s fast it but in the past two months it's been in between 100 and 120 in the morning it's way too high Very sorry so we're trying to we're trying to work on that so between between my fasted blood sugar levels mm-hmm. so my my insulin sensitivity the the estrogen uh t3 t4 uh problems um and the hormone imbalances in general, we think that he thinks that that's the contributing factor to not really being able to make any sort of headway in the. Why fit. you're fat? That's why I'm fat. Why you're fat? That's why I'm a fat, fat guy, fat piece of shit. So, <laughs> now that we now that we've lost eight out of ten of our viewers, <laughs> 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 listening to Scott talk about his blood work, 